Should you be paying an advisor to manage your nest egg? Hi, I'm Dave Grant. I am a certified financial planner and the founder of Retirement Matters, a financial planning company based in Barrington, Illinois. Now this topic is slightly strange to talk about because this is how I, I earn my living. You know, people entrust me to manage their investments, but for many people, they can adequately do it themselves. So for most people who invest their own money, there comes a time when they consider whether they should turn it over to a financial advisor instead. Maybe you've been investing your money in low cost index funds and have been satisfied generating the same returns as the stock market. So why should you pay someone else the extra fees? It's a great question. Um, and any financial advisor should be willing to teach you what extra value you should expect before handing over your nest egg. You need to know what a good advisor can bring to the table and if it will be worth the money you spend on fees. In this video, we'll go over a few important reasons why you might consider paying a financial advisor. Maybe you don't have all the answers. Now in this digital age that we're in, investors have as much information available to them as the investment profession. You can do all the research necessary to make the investment decisions, but how confident are you in making those decisions? How certain are you of your asset allocation strategy? When the markets fluctuate, is your asset allocation strategy still on target or does it need adjusting? Does your strategy match your risk profile? Is it too conservative? Is it too aggressive? Most importantly, is your investment strategy on track to meet your financial objectives for retirement? Most people can answer these questions on their own, yet having the right answers at a given time is critical. Maybe you lack confidence in your future. Now, if you're a do-it-yourself investor with the time and inclination to stay on top of these questions, you might be fine. But most people have neither the time nor the inclination to do what is necessary to stay on top of their investments, let alone make the right decisions along the way. One of the biggest reasons people don't meet their financial goals is a lack of confidence in their investment strategy. When your confidence falters, you're more likely to break from your strategy and start making costly decisions. Maybe you want to get more bang for your buck. A good financial advisor is your financial coach, keeping you focused on your objectives, guiding your decision-making based on your objectives, keeping you from making bad decisions. A Vanguard study done in 2014 found that an effective financial advisor can enhance your annual return by as much as 3% outside of any investment returns, simply by helping you make smart decisions. So even if your advisor continues to invest in passively managed index funds, like you've been doing, his or her ability to properly construct your asset allocation around your objectives and your risk profile can add value. Helping you find more tax efficient ways to invest your money or withdraw at retirement adds value as well. Keeping you from following the panicking herd when the market turns can also add value and it can also add some peace of mind. Now, if after paying your advisor a 1% annual fee, if you can net 2% an additional value, you've more than covered your cost. You have life critical decisions to make. There's more to a financial advisor than just investing. A good financial advisor helps you zero in on your most important financial goals and helps you better understand your tolerance for risk. As life events unfold, your financial advisor can guide you in critical decisions based on their understanding of your goals, needs, and your priorities. Knowing your financial situation, your financial advisor can advise you on when to take social security benefits, which retirement accounts can maximize tax efficiency, when to adjust your asset allocation, and how to maximize your estate for your children. These are all life critical decisions that if you made them poorly, you can be costing yourself considerably more money than you pay an advisor in their fees. Unquestionably, having a solid financial advisory relationship can improve your financial position and instill the confidence that everyone would like in having a secure financial future. However, it's important to understand the difference between a true fee-only financial professional and a financial salesperson who you know, offers investment products for a commission. 
The former is typically an independent practitioner who is bound to act in the best interest of their clients, like yourself, while the latter is more of a product salesperson who's paid by the firm they work for. A true financial advisor answers only to his, their clients, offering objective, conflict-free advice. I ask that you don't settle for anything less. Until next time, enjoy the day.